Hello, this is a video for people who provide opportunities to schools, classrooms, teachers, or students or families. So you might be a nonprofit, you might be a business, a museum, a hospital, a mu uh, university, or something else, but you provide an opportunity to classrooms, teachers, students, parents. Um, so you can go find our opportunities database on our website, stemlibrarylab.org and choose in the ecosystem database, or you can go straight to it just by going to opportunities.stemlibrarylab.org. So opportunities.stemlibrarylab.org takes you to this page where you can sign in. <clears throat> when you sign in, it'll give you the opportunity to sign up. So if you're brand new, you'll sign up, you'll fill out this one page sign up form. And then once you've completed it, you will be able to sign in. <clears throat> and you'll sign in and you'll say, all righty. And then it'll give you this opportunity, this option to add opportunities. So when you add an opportunity, <clears throat> it'll ask you to put in the name of the opportunity, not your name. For a description, it'll ask whether it's for teachers, for students and families, or for both. And then it'll ask about the type of opportunity. This could be anything. It could be an adventure hosting or a field trip. It could be that you are a guest speaker. It could be that you provide internships or camps could be lessons that you provide or funding opportunities. It could be professional development workshops or conferences. It could be things that happen in school or out of school. It's anything that you provide to teachers, families, students, uh, schools. So you would choose the opportunity type. You would choose the cost, whether it's free or there's a cost associated. You choose the age group or age groups that this is for. You choose the area of interest, the type of science or STEM field. And there are some additional things beyond just uh, straight STEM. Do you choose whether it's online or in person? And then you'd be able to choose the dates and times that this is happening. Not all of these fields will apply to every opportunity. So you might be offering an opportunity as a guest speaker, and you might be saying, well, I can come anytime. So you don't necessarily have to fill out that date range. You would just leave that blank and say, it's gonna happen anytime. You might be doing a public or community event and it'll happen at this date from this time. And there you go. You might be doing a camp, which has a date range, you might even be doing a camp that has three different sessions. And if you're doing a camp with three sessions, right now, this uh, platform is in beta and actually might not do what you need it to because you would probably want three separate start and end dates. Right now, you'd have to enter your camp as three different opportunities, but you don't want to do that. <clears throat> so you'll go ahead and you'll say, hey, I want to give you some feedback. I need multiple date ranges. So you can click here and you'd be able to provide us with some feedback. You might also say, I'm a guest speaker and my opportunity could be online or in person, but right now it's an either or. So if this platform doesn't quite meet your needs right now, go ahead and give us some feedback and we are actively changing it. So you'll go ahead and upload your opportunity. And when you've done that, you'll be able to hit submit and then it'll populate in our opportunity database. So in here, all of the opportunities that have been created show up here. If they have a date tied to them, then after that date, they will disappear. If they don't have a date tied to them, then they'll stay. And a teacher can go in or a parent or student can go in and they can say, okay, I'm looking for opportunities from this date range. I'm looking for a field trip and I don't care what it's about, but I want a field trip and I want it for my middle school. So they can choose middle school field trips, or they could say, I'm looking for professional development and I don't care, well, probably they do care, but maybe they want physics professional development. So they'll choose physics and professional development and they'll populate everything that's for them. Or they'll say, you know, I'm an elementary school teacher and I'm looking for volunteers in my classroom. So teachers, parents, students, schools can go in and use this database to filter and find the opportunities that are right for their classroom or their needs. So that's the whole show. Um, we are encouraging you to sign up now. So go ahead and head to opportunities.stemlibrarylab.org, sign in, sign up, and start putting your opportunities into this database so that local students, schools, teachers can find them. Thanks so much.